air compressor. Air Joe, here we go. Um, we have something that's not only for your car tires, but yes, it will do that, but also all the sports equipment, the bike tires, things like that. You know what I always feel like is, I said it before, but I'm gonna say it again. When you need it, you need it now and you need it badly. Because if your tires are getting low or you get a, you know, some kind of flat you get going, you want to go somewhere, you need to get from here to the, you know, place you're going to buy the tires and put one on, you need this. But the same thing, if somebody all of a sudden goes out to do a bike ride and their bike tires are practically flat, they want to go now. Right. And that's what this allows you to do. Price tag, $69. It was $84, so you're saving $15. Brand new today. It only comes in one color, and that is going to be this kind of Sun Joe green. It's a yellow, green, lemon, lime kind of color. How easy is this to do? Because is it easy enough for me? Yes, there's no intimidation fact here whatsoever. Awesome. And I love that it's two great things in one. This yeah. does all the inflating for your bicycle tires, for the sports balls, for the car tires, things of that nature that have a valve stem on them. This guy here is your air inflator that you're also getting. This is the first time we've ever paired the two together. This blows up all the other things, your air mattresses, the pool floats, the wow, the beach balls. Beach balls. All Can the you things where you say, well, how am I ever going to blow that up without turning blue? Yeah. All right? right. That's what Look this guy things. does here. Look so. at this. I haven't even seen this. Does this float in a pool? It could. Oh, it yeah. could. You got to have some good balance. But you can also, people put them in their apartments and yeah. things like that. And we blew them up in a matter of seconds with yeah. the air inflator, but it's wow. real easy to do. So all you basically do is you put your battery on, you, t you hit this button here, it'll turn it on. I'm going to hook it up to the sports ball just to okay. show you. So we're putting what it on here. What about the needles? Do they come with? They come with it. So there's no saying, okay, I need yeah. those. Now I set my pressure on here to 10 PSI. I'm going to turn it on and it's going to tell me, well, there's no power in there, there's no air pressure in there. Yeah, it's flat. That's for sure. Now I'm going to turn this guy on and as I turn it on you're going to notice it's going to start to grow. It's starting to go up, starting to get filled, but you're saying, well, wait a second, do I got to stand back? Am I going to overfill it? No, that's the beauty of this because you get to set the pressure to where you need it. So when it gets to that pressure, man, we're almost there. All right. Will it shut off by itself? It'll shut it off by itself. Awesome. So I don't have to worry about overinflating. So yeah. this guy here, oh, we're almost there, eight and a five, nine. It'll shut off. There you go. 10 pounds. That wow. Fast. And even though, you know, like with a basketball, even though it may look like it's totally inflated, this thing knows whether or not it's totally inflated. Well, because if it isn't, it isn't going to bounce the right way either. All right. Let's go from this at 10 pounds yeah. to my car tire back over yeah. here. And how so, much for those? Is it 32, 34? These guys are big. These are 45 pounds. 45 pounds So this will go from 5 pounds of pressure up wow. to 120 pounds. So that's a dump truck tire for if you're wondering how yeah. much is 120 pounds. Yeah. It's a dump truck tire. So again, all I simply do is take this and I put the chuck on there. This locks on so I don't have to do anything. Right. Now this little gauge here will tell me, okay, that's 44.5. Well, I need to be a little higher than that. So I'm going to hit this button and I'm just going to scroll up till I get to the desired temperature that I need. So let's go to 46. Yep, that pressure. All right. So you went to 46. Okay. I'm going to put it on. All right. You push down the lever to kind of lock it on. All right. So it's going to tell me where it's at. Now it's going to take a little bit because this is a big tire to get there. Yeah. But I can walk away. Right. I can do what I want. It might be pouring rain. I might yeah. be loading kids into the car. Right. But it doesn't matter because when this gets to that pressure of 46 psi, this will automatically shut itself off. So there's no intimidation factor like, oh, right. I really need to stand back. I that hate going to those gas stations and using their, uh, you know, pressure hoses because I don't know how to use those well, and all are, that. Are they really accurate? Are they yeah. really, you know, telling you what's that? So you can see we're at 45. We're almost there. And again, this is yeah. a huge tire. Yes. Okay. It but is big. 45.5. When it gets to the full 46, it will shut itself off. And again, I can inflate this tire time after time after time without having to recharge the battery. Right. This could be parked in my garage. Yeah. How am I getting it out if I have a flat? Right. I don't have to worry about it with this. Wow. So that's the great thing about yeah, it. Yeah, because you can at least put enough air in it to hopefully get, like you say, move it out of the garage or get to the right. place where you're going to buy the new tire. By the way, one of the things I learned that I think is really great, I think it's over on the driver's it is. side. Yeah, on but the little pillar. That. 
Yeah, so on the pillar of the there door, so when you open your driver's side door, I'll just open the passenger door. Right here, there's a sticker on the driver's side. It's a yellow sticker. Every car sold in America has one. It tells you what the air pressure should be on the tires on yep. your vehicle. Now, notice while I was talking, this turned itself off. It did. It, it turned, turned itself, itself off. It's at the it's right all pressure. Done. And you don't have to think about it. And then all you have to do is take that off and screw on that little nut that comes with it. Yeah, just put the cap back on. So now I'm going to switch it back over and we're going to fill up the basketball. Oh, good. So we're going to put this in here. <laughs> I like basketballs. <laughs> I like footballs too. Um, by the way, here's the uh, animation so you can see. You're literally digitally putting it in right on the screen. It's easy to see. And you get that powerful 24 volt battery with it. Um, I just want to say $69 is the price for this one and it's brand new today. So here we go. All of those different yeah. things. Most sports balls are like 10 pounds or 12 pounds. They're or written right like on that. the sports ball so there's no guesswork. Yeah. I also love that you get the different nozzles. Yes. Because on the mountain bikes they have a real skinny valve stem. Oh. We have a thing called a Presta valve that comes with it. So now you don't need a special pump to fill them up. All right, we can fill up some of the small things before. But yeah. That's what your air inflator is all about. And the air inflator does a fantastic job of filling up things that you can't fill right. up with the air compressor. Yeah. So that's why this is great in having to do it again. I went How from, do I know whether I should use the air pump or the air compressor? Great question. All right, so if it needs a, a needle or a valve like this, all right, you're going to okay. use the compressor. Got if it. If it needs something that has a bigger opening, and let yeah. me see if I can. Like a bigger hole. Grab this guy here. All right, see this guy oh, yeah. here? This oh, has yeah. a bigger opening. That's right. right. See the size of that, <laughs> We baby? recognize those things, right? All right, so that's, that's what these different nozzles are for. Yeah. So I would take the medium nozzle. Yeah. Put it in there, in there, hit the power, and blow that up in a matter yeah. of seconds. And you just take yeah. this battery off of the air compressor yeah, and easy. put it on the air pump. Take this guy off here. All you do is pinch the little white pieces here, yep. slide this guy on. There you go. Feel the air. Oh, it feels good uh -huh. right now. <laughs> we need it today. out here. But that's the beauty of this. And, oh, by the way, hold those. Don't want to run those to run away. It comes in its own bag. Yeah. So that's the other nice thing, is that you've got a bag to keep both of these things well, in. I, I have one in my car. I keep it in the car because yeah, I drive I this bet. on the beach a lot. So I have to let yeah. the air out of the tires then fill them back up. Oh. So anybody that goes off-roading and stuff like that, they're great. If you have bicycles at the beach, this is great to keep in your shed right. or your garage. Yeah. So anybody that's a coach for any sports team oh, should have yeah. one of these. How many times have you been there? Oh my goodness, I got to use that pump again. Use yeah. this. It's so much easier. This is so much easier and so much better, really, because this is going to shut off when it gets to the exact. How Can't do you know when it's at the exact? Right. You know, when you're not using something like this. It's V570 74, $69 sale price, three payments at $23, shipping and handling $550. Go ahead and get it quickly while you can because you get both the pump and the compressor. Um, we saw